There is a very common misconception that vegans aren't able to build muscles and that following a plant-based diet will lead to a decrease in muscle mass. Yet more and more people seem to be adding synthetic protein supplements to their omnivorous diets in hopes of quicker and better results. Another misconception is that a vegan diet will cause fatigue and energy loss. However, many eating a standard American diet are dependent on caffeine, found in coffee and energy drinks, to stay energized throughout the day. So is it true? Is it possible to thrive on a plant-based diet as an athlete? Let's take a closer look at a few vegan athletes out there and see what studies actually have shown. Plants such as legumes, fruits, veggies, grains, nuts and seeds all contain high amounts of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory substances that decrease muscle tissue damage after strenuous exercise. Carbohydrates from plants also lower stress hormone levels. These positive effects could explain how a plant-based diet speeds recovery. Citrus fruits and watermelon help reduce muscle pain. Beetroot is a great performance enhancer since it's rich in nitrogen, resulting in vasodilation and increased blood flow. In addition, studies have shown that beetroot causes a decrease in oxygen demand. Yuso is a 24-year-old long-distance runner from Finland and former professional soccer player. He recently won his two first 100k races. Robin is a very active Swedish rock climber and practitioner of the Wim Hof Method with years of experience in cryotherapy and hydrotherapy. Both Yuso and Robin are thriving on a whole food, plant-based diet without the need to add unnecessary protein supplements to their diets. So I started to search because I were on a low-carb, high-protein diet and also low-fat. So I felt like, ah, it's, it was kind of working good for me, but I want to have more energy. I searched more, like looked up studies and stuff. And then I turned vegan, like in a day, I gave up everything and I just went for it and it felt awesome. So that's why I went vegan, for health and performance. And then slowly I become more like, you know, ethical and, you know, understand how, how it works in the meat and dairy industry. Uh, first of all, it felt just for my health. Also, I just wanted to like feel healthier and yeah, recover faster from the workouts so I started to research and yeah yeah I just found a veganism and went for it and felt felt really really good and yeah muscles is all about what you do with your body well if you sleep and how good you can recover and when I eat this uh, high carb diet, I can recover much faster, I think. But before I was always tired. After my workout, I was tired, and before my workout, I always had a special pre workout powder with caffeine and stuff. And I felt like, ah! Oh! But after the exercise, I was like, <laughs> but now I have uh, energy throughout all the day. I never like sleep or something like during the day. So after I switch to vegan diet I reco recover so much faster and it's it's crazy how good it works so I can train so much it's, it's amazing the main reason why so many athletes reject the vegan diet is fear of not getting enough protein and essential amino acids but fact is all plant foods contain varying amounts of protein most of which also have all of the nine essential amino acids. Here is a list of different sources of essential amino acids. The numbers at the top represent the amount of each amino acid found in one serving size. 
The bottom number is the number of servings required to reach the recommended daily intake of that specific amino acid. In the green boxes, you have the recommended intake per kilogram. In this case, we've chosen to check how much a 80 kilogram person has to eat in order to reach the recommended daily intake. The bottom number in the green boxes equals the total recommended intake for a 80 kilogram person. So a person at 80 kilograms needs 2000 milligrams of phenylalanine every day. Robin and Yuso get their proteins mainly from raw fruits and veggies, but they also eat cooked foods such as beans and rice. Here's an example of the nutritional content of six simple ingredients. Again, the recommended daily intake is based on a 80 kilogram adult. Altogether, they sum up to only 1,198 calories, but just look at the protein, calcium, and iron content of that. We need a little bit more of phenylalanine and methionine. To attain an adequate level of calcium, you'd only need to add a few more ingredients. 1,198 calories is far from enough, so we definitely have room for more foods in order to reach the recommended daily intake. One of the most important amino acids for muscle growth is leucine, which can be found in large amounts in animal products. However, studies have shown that leucine is carcinogenic and therefore high levels should be avoided. Animal proteins also increase IGF-1, which is another carcinogenic substance. Smaller levels of leucine can be found in plants, just enough to meet the recommended daily intake. 1.75 to 3.5 grams of leucine is recommended for maximal protein synthesis in the muscles. More than that won't increase the synthesis significantly. By choosing a plant-based diet, you'll not only grow muscles, but you'll also lead a sustainable and healthy lifestyle. Another myth is that you won't get enough calcium, iron, vitamin D, and omega-3 on a plant-based diet. These nutrients are found in many plant sources. Flax seeds, shea seeds, walnuts, and microalgae are all rich in omega-3. Microalgae provide great amounts of DHA and EPA. The other resources may also lead to an optimal production of DHA and EPA, but you might want to take a blood test just to be sure. Tofu, okra, basil, and broccoli are a few of the many great sources of calcium. Iron can be found in cashews, spinach, watermelon, and many other plants. Raw mushrooms such as shiitake, cantaril, and maitake contain vitamin D. 100 grams of cantaril equals approximately 5.4 micrograms of vitamin D. The recommended daily intake for adults is 5 to 10 micrograms. Infections like upper respiratory infections are quite common among athletes doing high intensity workouts. A plant-based diet is great for any athlete as it strengthens the immune system. Substances such as carotenoids abundant in several veggies are known to enhance immune function. By adopting a plant-based diet, the recovery time post-workout will decrease and therefore you'll be able to exercise more and in doing so develop more muscles and strength.